to my week 23 bump date. 23 weeks this week and baby is as big as a papaya. Um, I don't really eat too many papayas so I don't really know how big that is. Kind of like last week and it was with a spaghetti squash or something. Yeah, this week's a papaya. Um, I think I read it um, 1.2 pounds now and 8 inches long so getting bigger um, this week uh, according to my app um, the baby if I were to see it now its skin would be kind of red looking um, and that's because its veins and its arteries are starting to form which is creating like a red hue and this the skin is still really transparent um, and so you can see pretty uh, well through it. But they also said that the skin is really saggy um, and it's just waiting for more muscle and more fat to kind of plump the baby out and plump the skin out. Sorry if you hear uh, noise in the background. That is Felix um, chasing something. Who knows what. Um, so symptoms this week. I'm still feeling really great. Um, I'm still in my second trimester. So um, not too many negative symptoms. I have been getting heartburn a little more often. Um, in the past couple weeks, I've only had to take Tums maybe once a week, and I think it's increased to a couple more days a week, um, but nothing too bad on that end. Um, the main thing this week is my back. My back has been hurting so bad this week. It's like it used to be um, just at night or in the evenings when I was sitting at home and then I could just put a pillow underneath my back and it would be fine Well now my back hurts all the time Like if I sit for too long and I don't get up and move my back will hurt so so bad Especially at work and then it'll just like carry on throughout the day It is getting so bad so I don't know if maybe I'm gonna try and get like a belly band or something to help with that, but it hurts, it hurts so bad. I've also been noticing at random times my left ribs will start to hurt. Um, and it's usually just when I've been sitting for a while. And I don't really know why or what's the cause of it or anything, but it has been kind of annoying, but it doesn't affect me too much just um, when I'm sitting for a long time. My nose is still pretty congested. I sneeze a ton. I have a runny nose, a stuffy nose all the time. I have noticed that I've been starting to get tired more. Um, I used to have tons of energy and I still have a good amount of energy, but recently I have noticed myself starting to get tired earlier in the night. Um, and go to bed earlier and just not have as much energy to do activities. I have been really thirsty lately um, and that's kind of something I've been dealing for the past couple of weeks um, and I know I don't drink enough water. I really need to get better on that. Um, another symptom that I've been dealing with is my left groin area will really hurt um, and it's only when I lay down to go to bed at night and when I wake up in the morning um, and I don't know if it's because I've been sleeping weird or what but it just it'll really really hurt when I wake up in the morning also when I wake up in the morning I'll be so stiff and sore I like I'll like move to a sit-up position it'll hurt so bad for a couple seconds and all of my like bones will creak and crack I feel like I'm getting so old baby boy has been kicking a ton more um, especially in the past couple days um, he has been kicking like crazy he um, beforehand I described his uh, kicks as more of like a person just sitting inside um, poking at me and now I feel like it's more like I have the hiccups kind of like it's more forceful and bigger and he um, is active for more like longer bouts of time um, I really like it sometimes it's kind of annoying because he'll wake me up in the middle of the night or he'll wake me up in the early morning kicking but um, at least I know he's alive and doing well I love feeling his kicks I have um, been gaining more weight um, I weighed myself yesterday and I was at 137 um, and so I've gained 14 pounds so far um, and it's kind of hard I don't know if that's right where I should be or not um, I have a doctor's appointment next week 
So I'm sure they'll be able to tell me if I'm on track or not. 14 pounds just seems like a lot to me, um, but maybe I'm on track. I kind of did the math, and if I gain, if I started, you know, at 14, and from now, from here on now, I gained a pound a week, I would still only be at like 31 pounds or something like that. Um, and so that's pretty good because they usually say like 25 to 35 pounds. So that would be in the right range. I am wearing all maternity clothes. Um, this shirt is maternity shirt. And then of course my pants are maternity pants. Um, I haven't noticed any swelling in my feet or my hands or anything like that. I don't think I've experienced any like, I don't feel like I'm like retaining water in my face or anything like that either. My nails are definitely growing really fast. I always find that they get really long really, really fast, which is awesome because I'm not used to that. Usually my nails take forever to grow. Um, and then also my hair, it doesn't fall out as much as it used to. I'm still falling asleep pretty easily at night. Um, there are times when I am woken up in the middle of the night and I'm wide awake and um, want to, you know, get on with my day and it's like 3 in the morning. <laughs> so I have been dealing kind of with that and then later on, you know, in the day I'll be super tired because obviously I wasn't sleeping the night before. So that's been something I'm still dealing with. My nose has been really itchy too, um, just like a weird symptom that I've been noticing. Um, it's kind of annoying and it itches mostly when I talk. <laughs> I have noticed that my hunger has slowed down a little bit. Um, there was a couple weeks where I was just super hungry all the time and I snacked a lot and ate a lot and I think that's where I gained like a lot of my pounds. And recently um, I feel like it's kind of died down a little bit and where to where I'm still hungry um, but there will be sometimes when it'll be lunch or dinner and I just won't be hungry. Um, and so I'll eat kind of a lighter meal, which I think is kind of what you're supposed to be doing anyway. Um, I continue to take my uh, vitamins every night and I also continue to put lotion on my belly. I have not noticed any stretch marks on my belly so far, although I have, and I think I mentioned this in my last video, I did uh, notice stretch marks underneath my breasts. Um, and so I've started to put lotion on that area as well to try to see if maybe they'll go away. I don't know if it's like kind of too little too late, but I thought I would try anyway. It's definitely hard to hide my belly anymore. I think you could definitely tell I was that I'm pregnant. I was standing the other day in the kitchen doing something and Anthony came in the room and said, wow, you definitely look pregnant. <laughs> So that's good to know that I look pregnant now and not fat. Cravings, I really haven't had any more cravings, just kind of the same old stuff. I love mac and cheese, I love root beer, um, I love sweet things, I'm always craving ice cream, cookies, um, donuts, I could go for any of those right now. I have been dealing with um, leg cramps uh, lately, not too much, but there will be times where I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll have a Charlie horse. Um, or I just need to like stretch my leg otherwise it's gonna you know go into shock and hurt um, which I know is normal so I think that's kind of all for my update not too many new things this week so I guess it's kind of a shorter video um, tune in next week I have my next doctor's appointment um, not too much going on at that it'll just be all the same things um, and I'll be interested to hear about my weight and if I'm on track or not um, and then they're also going to start measuring my belly to see the fundal height or something. I think that's what it's called um, to see if baby is measuring on track. Um, it should be a pretty easy appointment, um, but stay tuned to see, you know, if anything happens or what I have to say and how it went. So um, enjoy this little bump shot that I have for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Okay guys, here's my week 23 bump. So here's my belly from the side, here it is from the front, and here it is from the side. So getting bigger, getting wider, definitely a bump, such a good boy. I can definitely feel him. One more thing I forgot to mention, um, Anthony has been feeling the baby kicking a lot more as well. 
um, especially since he's more the baby is more forceful now with his kicks um, it's much easier to feel and so Anthony will just place his hands on my belly and like he was doing it last night and he could feel baby kick over and over and over again um, in the past it was kind of like hurry hurry put your hand here maybe you'll feel it um, and like only one time out of ten could he ever feel it and now it's like he feels it all the time um, and he's always giving kisses to my belly and he talks to my belly and you know he talks about baby with me so he's been a great support and really really sweet to me um, we're still trying to think of names for the baby but we can't find any that we like so a little bit of struggle on that end he's been really sweet to help take care of me as well uh, I was complaining the other day that my back was hurting so bad and so he was like lay down on the couch cuddle with me I'll give you a back massage so he's been really sweet um, I'm so glad I have him to go through this with me and I'm not just going through it myself and he seemed to really come around with this whole pregnancy um, and so I'm really happy to have him